Hello everyone in the world, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. It's me, Zaki, your English teacher. And today we're going to talk about a very simple lesson. It's about the K letter, okay? So your mouth shape is like this. Actually, it doesn't matter. Because the K letter all focuses on your focal cord. It does not move, but, and also does not vibrate. So it's like, there's no vibration. There's no sound here. It's just like drums. K -k 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 -k. Maybe those who play big books know what I mean. So it's, k -k. it's unvoiced, not voiced. Okay. So we have the K letter here that is pronounced or not pronounced. Okay. So when it's pronounced and when it's not pronounced, what do you mean by pronounced? Well, pronounced means that you can hear it. So, for example, keen, keep, key, kiss, kitchen. Can you hear the K? Yes. So it's pronounced. And these are the phonetics. So when it's not pronounced, when you can't not listen it, right? How? So let's see. Knee, no, knock, knife. Could you hear the K? No. So it's not pronounced. So what we have learned so far that the K has two rules. The general rule is that the K here is pronounced as general when it's called by vowels. Like keen, keep, uh, key, kiss, and kitchen. But here, special rule when K plus N, K plus N, K is not pronounced. So as you as you may see here that we have K N K N K N K N. So K here is silent, okay? Because there's N followed by K or K up before N. K N. Me, no, knock, knife, knowledge. And in the American they say knock knock who's in there. So that's what we have learned so far. Hope you are enjoying this series of learning English online. And if you want to learn more, you can go to our page on Facebook, which is www.facebook.com slash learn.special.english and see you soon. Bye-bye.